When this uh, bill was introduced, it was very simple. It was one of the shortest ones that we see come across our desks. It was one sentence that called for the repeal of the prevailing wage law in Michigan. When it came before us in committee, it got a little longer, and it included a $75,000 appropriation to disseminate information to let people know that prevailing wage had been repealed. The sponsor of the bill said that that was an important, uh, an important appropriation so that people would be aware of the changes to the law, but I would submit to this body, we are not normally in the habit of passing appropriations to let the general public know that new laws have been passed. And if this is a new policy that we want to use going forward, that we, whenever we pass any kind of legislation, whether it has to do with a tax change or a hunting change or a speed limit change or a blood alcohol level change, we would need to have appropriate money to make sure the public knows about it. But in fact, we normally let people find out about it by reading about it in the press or hearing about it from their local clerks or being advised about it from their attorneys or their tax preparers and CPAs. So, colleagues, I assume that, in fact, we don't feel that we need to appropriate state money to tell people about the changes in laws that we're making, that, in fact, the purpose of this amendment was to make this piece of legislation referenda proof so that the citizens of Michigan could not say we want to undo what has been done here today and bring a citizen's petition to the ballot. And so my amendment would simply restore this piece of legislation to the way it was originally introduced and lived for five months before the appropriation was added. And let's, we're playing enough politics today. Let's not play politics by trying to make this referendum proof. And I encourage my colleagues to support this amendment. Thank you, Mr. President.